Welcome. I am Crimey Queen, and if you are joining us for the first time, it's the channel where we have fun with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. Okay, so this is where we have fun with scriptural references, of course, all with the um, purpose and intention of growth. And of course, this is what we are about because we can't sort of stay um, in one place or in one position or one mindset that um, no longer serves us, of course. And I'm sure I'm not on my own on this because I had seen that the scriptures, how it had shaped me, had only served me to a certain point. And it's just like... Um, being in school of course you're in kindergarten then you go into primary level and then secondary level and so on so the idea that um we often say well you know um we were taught wrongly or um we were not given certain things is that we also have a responsibility to um to shine or to make known our needs so we can find the right resources right information so we can grow accordingly it's for instance if you wanted to be a nurse or if you have it in your de in your heart your desire to be a nurse if you do not speak it out or let it let it be known then one cannot really lead you into the right direction to say well i know where a university is or the college is, or there is a hospital where you can apply for a job. That, that's the sort of thing that is becoming clearer and clearer about how we have been dealing with the Bible. So just to let you know as well, um, I have no idea where the true focus on this camera is. So I probably, um, in fact, I have been testing different points, so um, do forgive me if my eyes go back and forth, but I hope the message or the um, what I'm conveying, rather, would be um, received. And that's the um, main thing here. Of course, I am concerned about that because it is also said that um, about 50% of what we um, convey is really um, in our gestures, etc., so, but spirit will lead you. Spirit lead us. <laughs> okay. So because of the um, nature of what I had been discovering um, and talking about in my last few um, presentations, I thought I would take a lighter stand just to have a sort of intermission. It gives us that moment to sink um, to digest what we have been doing and have segments so we do not... Um, suffocate ourselves even if it were very delicious or insightful information but as it is said too much of one thing is just as bad as not enough uh, meaning that we should have things appropriately and of course um, accordingly so I am going with how um, it feels right now so um, I just um, saw something very um, nice in fact um, I'm looking at the board there. So it's like I saw the word yellow, but the word mellow came, came to mind. And so this is what I am talking about. Let's have something a little bit mellow. And so we can have that upbeat again. So speaking of um, mellow, um, because we had touched on, on these um, words on our serious subject, which we won't go too much into right now, but we were talking about artificial intelligence. So in case you're wondering what I'm going on about. Now, of course, one of the things that have brought a lot of things to light is this scripture verse where um, the said God, which is Mother Eve, which is Satan, which is the snake, all this is one and the same. And so, and the waters, which is the source which is the divine feminine so we are talking all about that in her first word she uses the word let when when she says let there be light so in that let that first word it equals 10 so i'll just do this with you and um oh so i really thought i'll just pick on some words and just have um okay 
just a couple words that we can begin to deconstruct uh, or oh, I could feel my crown is about to <laughs> my crown okay let's fix my crown that's the thing when you're a queen you have to be mindful of your your crown and that means what you say what you do and um, how you behave so this is all about the the program the program I'm reprogramming okay okay so um, I can hear someone say yeah you are being programmed <laughs> yes by mother eve okay now um okay and on in essence satan yes <laughs> satan is not lucifer they are two different entities in that sense so satan and lucifer is different okay now my pen um so it's let l e t so this is two five three i now this is what mother eve has been teaching me now when she says that we need to count backward this whole series came by me writing the word let in fact it was the very same word instead of me writing let i found myself writing t and then going back writing e and each time was with the attempt of um writing the e was the attempt of writing l or t and so it became it came to the left but i was writing um from the right to the left so there was the big transformation i think that was a very it was not i think because that's exactly what got my eyes to open to a lot of things from this um so it from this um scripture verse which is the third verse so it's 253 as i say it's my local bus route as well so 253 because i'm counting this way instead of saying 352 i'm going 253 so there we go so this is 8 and 210 now 10 is really let's i am going to make a conscious effort to um get rid of my dry pens as we go along so i don't have to keep picking them up again okay so i may handle a few okay let's see so 10 there we are there's the one that yeah so and um, let's do l can you see let let let's just do this let three five two okay so when we add these together if you're new to numerology that's how it works you add all the uh, numbers together until they get to a single digit but we have been of course to deconstruct certain things we look at the last two digits we can look at all of the digits as well like here and get a framework of how they it has been constructed so we know three is the number that is um, vibrational and it is the magic number i'm able to say that when someone had told me about the magic number i had not understood the um powerful um significance of the of this symbol but now i do because i understand that um it is the breast it is that which nurtures it's always seeking to share of itself basically so um where it would come like it reminds me of a fruit as well i think it is called the um not i think the fruit that i'm thinking of is um the aki the jamaican aki because i had been thinking about its makeup but that reminds me um so it comes up somewhat like this let's see if i can do this but yeah but it actually is wow am i doing this correctly well we can see that that would mean a lot of things anyway so it's it's the bee it's the beehive i call it the beehive i call it the buttocks um so 10 and 3 so it's basically 10 when we write um the this is the magic as well when we write the the word 10 the word 10 is 2 
5, 5. So 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 2 is 12. So when we add 2 plus 1 is 3. So we see where the 3 has become that magic. Hence, um, in Christianity, you were told about the Trinity. Now, um, of course, the Trinity had not been understood. Um, I'm sure it's not um, clearly understood by many, but um, because it, it has left um, the source out in some cases, like Mother Eve, the description that we... Um, of that we make a reference to is not mother if it's like father son and holy spirit but we are not seeing holy spirit even as feminine in this sense to say that it does include it it really is amazing that we would find ourselves in a certain belief and practice that excludes the divine feminine so to say that everything would come from the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, which of course perhaps may be seen as neutral, but does not really um, render the feminine, um, the divine feminine in any way. Whereas everything around us that actually um, breeds has this feminine um, attribute or characteristic. So um, it really... Um, makes me think um, how we have we have bought into this um, thinking now um, what Mother Eve has um, really told me in this sense everything has been for a reason it has been for a time but it's now that we are ready to look at the other side of the coin so to speak and as I say the other side of the coin that was what um, Jesus Christ was about when he turned the table over. Of course, it is said that they were gambling. And where there is gambling, there's coins. Coins would fall to the ground or the floor and they would be picked up again. So people would have to bend down. This is the um the uh this is the message. People would have to bend down to pick up those things. That would allow them another chance to look at the other side of the coin. There's the story. Well, one layer, one of many layers to the story. So there we see that three, as I say, and we have the God. So um, Mother Eve is the said God, S-A-I-D. The said God, G-O-D, of course, we see that said is 15, 1, and of course, we have 8. So she is the serpent right here who aids the gods in the creation and in their making and in their formation and all of those things. So she is the God of language. So 1, 9, 4. And this is um, 7, God is 7, um, 6, 4. So we add this together here, 6 plus 4, um, just for because my brain goes ahead and you can see the numbers. So I'll just say this is 17 and 1 plus 7 is 8. So God is 8. So God is a function here. We see that we have been using the word God. God is really a function or a title. It's like saying so in some cases. So just as a reference. And then we have 10 for her and 4, 14 and 1 is 15. So 1 plus 5 is 6. If we add 6 plus 8 here to say the said God, because we are, this is how we also understand we are number 6. We are, uh, the number of man is 6 because that is of the said God. Now just to make it easier for you as well to understand because the said Meaning is the God of words, the God of words, the God of wisdom, the serpent, we were told was the wisest of all creatures. So here we see that the S in itself is shaped like a serpent and we see that it is on par or it is um, co um, compared in the sense of um, synonymous to waters because waters take on that shape. So a serpent can be um, long and straight and rigid looking 
and it can also be curled. Likewise, water can be can do the same. It can be um, rigid and when frozen, and it can flow when liquid. So this is the serpent. This is Mother Eve. I'm going to do this um, um, presentation very short because um, it would really serve well that we have little mini bite sizes of this sort of teaching. So when I do um, a presentation that is um, lengthier, one would have had those um, little bite size to make um, better sense of what I'm saying in this sense. Okay. So um, we have the said God and I um, and we have God here. We have 10 and just to show you the magic of 10. So um, before I do, um, in fact, I had this um, beautiful dream um, in the early hours of today, um, just before I got up and I really saw the most beautiful. I saw the five pointed star. So. Um, wonderfully golden and 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 diamondy and um, glittery it was just really really lovely and that's what we are and that's what christ um came to say don't you know you are the light of the world meaning we are the five pointed star that is shining in the earth basically i am now getting that we are as above so below we are the stars that are below the heavens as well so the gods above can see us shining um as as we see the stars in the heavens shine wow this is just this is mother eve coming through right now and i hadn't i hadn't seen this before but we are the stars on the earth okay so when we add these two together we become 14 one plus four is five this is why i'm talking about the five pointed star so 14 um five and i have been um talking a lot about 14 because 14 is that is the um number of gods in genesis of chapter one and two so in one is nine and the two um the second chapter is um five gods so of course um they are just to give you um some reference so why um in one we have ch um the gods of the god of um language as we have here the god who made the god who formed the one who divided and the one who um created the one who blessed the one who formed and planted and and so on so these are they they were the gods and they're the ones that um of course are in our psyche all in our psyche and Hence, if you are, you are wondering why there's the chatter in your mind, it is of the gods. Okay, so um, just I'll just close with um, the beauty and magic of number three. So number three and number ten. So we could see why um, three plus ten is thirteen, and why the number thirteen is used for magic. Wow, my pen has gone dry. So this is, the three is um, M and it is also E and it is E, it is three and it is W. Now that also means that we are everywhere because W meaning wherever you go in your north, south, east or west, there is a W. Hence, we go places and someone say, oh, you really look like someone I know. They're talking about your W. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you have found this fun. Do like and subscribe and share because this is how we do it. We share to actualize in self love. Oh, stay um, blissfield. Be a field because we are planting new seeds. And spill over with love. Mm -mm -mm -mm.